Wimbledon was in severe danger. The visitors, Wimbledon, the most consistent team in the Premiership over the last nine games. A big crowd willing a victory for the home side and the commentary from Barry Davis. A full house at Goodison and a welcome fit for champions from Everton supporters not knowing if they've come to praise or to see their team buried. It will be a nervous 90 minutes for a man who won in Munich's Olympic Stadium and very nearly in the San Siro in Milan. But the Mike Walker choice is positive, giving last week's team the chance to get them out of trouble, doubtless with exaltations about hitting the target. His outfield subs, just in case, are both strikers. Tony Cotti still has the extra incentive to score because it would be his 100th goal. Wimbledon's coach was burnt out last night at their team hotel in what the police are describing as suspicious circumstances. The kit was on board, but it was rescued in time, if a little smoky. They too are unchanged, with John Fashionu having broken a bone in his right hand in training. They come here with seven wins and two draws in their last nine games, and with Joe Kinnear as the manager of the month for the third time in the season. As no other manager has won it more than once, a certain logic suggests that the Manager of the Year award should follow. The referee is Robert Hart of Darlington. And Everton attack the goal to our left. The book is odds around the stadium. Four to five that Everton will go down. Four to five that they will survive. So even the bookies don't know. First clearance from Neville Southall, who last week at Leeds made his 600th first team appearance. We'll take the first free kick as well. On by fear. What a name to have on an afternoon like this. Playing, of course, for Wimbledon. Peter Fear. Followed by Dean Blackwell. Seggers comes to claim, and well, he manages to stay in his territory. Dean Holdsworth, top scorer again, 23. His total this time around, 19 last season. Free kick against Limpar. Comments that he might be fancied by other clubs. He'll be looked at with scorn by Wimbledon. Side in sixth place, looking to be in fifth at the end of the day. Corner. Corner had to come back from the wrong side. The marking wasn't all that it might have been then. Northwood is on the far post. Andy Clark on the near. Limpar just got a touch to that. No penalty! Handball! Handball by Anders Limpar. Unreal. He knew it immediately. came off his left hand. We've been playing a little over three minutes when the incident happened. Dean Holdsworth places the ball on the spot. Crescendo of booze, and it's all down to Southall. Oh, and he very, very nearly made it. But it's a 24th goal for Dean Holdsworth. And just the start that Everton must have had in their nightmares last night. Mike Walker's determination to remain positive being severely tested. Well, 
the scale, making Stewart turn. Here for handball, not given. Horn. Well, I wanted him to have a crack. Stewart. Right out. It's on the top. Such a chance last week at Leeds for right out. Got up to this, but Segers very happy it was going on the roof. Beer. But. Holdsworth jumped early. Oh. Well, he jumped early, and that produced a free kick against Unsworth. Earl is quite short. Gale is coming in from the far side. Unsworth. Two together. And Ablett cannot keep it out. Clark gets the congratulations of the Wimbledon players for the fact that two went ahead the same ball. Was the cause of that goal. And Ablett couldn't keep it out. Uh, the problem was certainly Unsworth and Watson both going for the same ball here. Clark flashed at it, may well have gone wide before hitting Ablett, but he had to play it. The error by the two going for the same ball was the crucial one. Goodison has gone very quiet. But not for long. Corner one. But the need for an immediate reply is obvious. Watson. Limpa. Penalty. There was never going to be any doubt. He didn't have to make the challenge, Peter Fear. And Everton have been handed a lifeline. But very questionable, I have to say, from that angle, just how much contact Fear made. Limpa, who conceded one, has won one back. Graham Stewart to take. He has to score. And he has. Beautifully taken penalty. And the frayed rope hanging at the end of 40 years of Premier Football at Goodison Park has been given some support. Gale up again and on well and Unsworth for a moment has to stretch with Dean Holdsworth behind him. Who's for the arrival of, of Long Throw Jones. They left it to Gale again. Dean Holdsworth scorns an open goal. There have been many moments for Everton to look back on in this match. But if they escape, that will certainly be one. Holdsworth really should have scored on his record of this season and last. A little bit short, but Seg as calm as you like. He enjoys those moments. Snowden. Sega's claims again with great serenity. And the ball is thrown out immediately by the goalkeeper. And Potty looking very concerned as right out stays down.
up very well. Reinhardt took the fall full force. But uh, Hansegger is very quickly aware of the danger of uh, tongue swallowing. I think they would do well to take him off, give him a few extra seconds in the dressing room. Great applause for Paul Rydup. Worrying moments. It certainly took him a long time to get his breath back. And the reaction of the players, the referee, and the physiotherapist slowly but surely ending the problem. Right out being helped around, but as play restarts, so it stops. And Stewart's goal has brought life back to Everton. After they went two down in 20 minutes, Holdsworth in the penalty spot, and Clark, after a confusion between two players in the Everton defence, Watson and Unsworth. But at half time, Everton, who have to win this match, that has to be their aim, are 2 1 down. Forty-five minutes left to protect the record of 40 years. Everton promoted to the top division under Cliff Britton at the end of season 53-54. They've been at the top ever since. Four championships, one FA Cup, one success in the Cup Winners' Cup. And if history hadn't decreed otherwise through tragedy, they might well have won the European Cup as well. Here's Cotty. Stewart. Good play, Stewart. Scales who cleared. But that's the way to lift the crowd at the start of the second half. It will be some story if at the end they are seen to have recovered from a penalty given away and an own goal. And Graham Stewart signed in August, taking his goal tally to two. This was a lovely run. And the parry fell to the foot of Scales. The ride out fully recovered. And the knock at the back end of the uh, first half. Watson couldn't get there, and this is Holdsworth, and Unsworth does a good job, he's having to learn his trade at senior level at a very difficult time, David Unsworth. Jones with the cross, and Southall in trouble, blocked on the line. gone for the corner and there was an appeal by Holdsworth that it was actually handball. Elkins takes. Back leg problem. Good header out by John Ebron. Excellent saving header on the back post. Offside against Fear. But two escapes for Everton in a matter of seconds. First the appeal for handball, Southall couldn't get across. Well, how much of the arm was used there by Stewart? And then from the resulting corner, fine header at the far post by John Everill. Barry Horn brings every evidence supporter to his feet. And some, unable to contain their emotion, have run onto the pitch. Ball bouncing, the gap opened up, he hit it on the up, and away from Hans Seggers, off the post, and into the goal behind Seggers. Well, at least he started with grey hair. Limpa. Corner one. Hope rises. They're queuing up. 
Everall, another chance. Oh! Massive bodies. It was out by Jones. And the shot again from Horn, curled, but away and too high. Here, yeah. Clark. Two against two. Blackwell's header collected by Stewart. Cotty. Limpa chased by Fear. The player and the fitting in the crowd. Good play by Limpa. Right out, just didn't make full contact. A good play by Everton. Side right foot cross from Limpa, and it just brushed the head, I think. And no more than that, a right out. And Everton to make the substitution. John Eberl to depart, applauded by the man who now replaces him, Stuart Barlow. An extra striker brought into the fray. Nine minutes remaining. Barlow didn't make it. Right out did. Limpa. Bit of tease from Limpa. Stewart. Stewart again. Yes! Two goals in the match for Graham Stewart. And Everton might have saved themselves. What's for sure is they've come back from two down to lead 3-2. Mike Walker. I can't imagine what he feels like. Relief, hope. And Segers, to tell the truth, made a bit of a mess of that. But Everton, and Graham Stewart in particular, won't mind. The manager continues to keep his cool. Of course, they won't know until they check whether it's been good enough. It's not entirely in their own hands. But the crowd feel that their team have done what was required of them on this final day. A minute remains. Barry Horn with the goal which perhaps counted most. Tied it at 2-2 two, two, and set up the grandstand finish. What a season he's had. He's known the heights, the lows, and in the end could finish on a high and know that he has a real chance next season. The referee looks at both linesmen. And the final whistle is blown. Everton have gained the victory that they needed. Stewart, scorer of two of the goals. Everton recovering from their own failings. Two down in 20 minutes. Squared it after 67 minutes. First through Stewart and then through Horn. And Stewart getting the winning goal with just nine minutes of their season left. Final score at Goodison Park. Everton, three. Wimbledon, two. Well, as it turned out, that result meant Everton's long history in the top division of English football continues. Just.